Hello there my lovely frugal friends, how are you all doing? I hope you are doing well. I'm Samantha, this is the channel Trying to Get By and we are upstairs in our little out of the room pantry section. We don't have enough room in the kitchen so we've started to do a pantry section up here. So I'm just having a look because I want to do a bit of a shop and see what sorts of things that we need, what um, things we need topping up on. So I'm <laughs> just hearing noises behind me. And so I'm just having a look now and seeing what we've got. So let's have a look and see what things we need now. This isn't our only stash of toilet paper, but this is this is the nice stuff. So I just keep that a little bit separate. We're fine for toothbrushes. We are fine for bleach. Deodorant should be going there. I know we're going to need some of that. So I'm going to grab some deodorant, soaps and hair soaps, because I don't use um, bottled shampoo. I use shampoo bars. So that fine. Toothpaste, we're fine. Dentist sticks, we're fine. Mouthwash. That is what we need. I've got my stash of oregano and cumin that I got from Costco a while back up here. My soda crystals, we don't need any of those, so we're fine for those. Anything down here is just stuff that I have canned myself and our stash of pasta and my rest of my canning things down there. So deodorant and mouthwash are the two things up here that we definitely do need. So I'm going to add those to our list. I'm just having a look in the cupboards for things that we need in here. Um, beans. No, I've got this one can of beans from an Asda haul I did ages ago. But I've got some of the homemade beans that I did myself. If you've not seen that video, um, have I will link it in the description box. We're fine for spaghetti hoops. We've got some jackfruit and lentils. Might have a look out for a little bit more of those. Coconut milk, we have got two. That's not too bad. Taco beans, we've got a couple. I've not used these up yet. I bought those a while back and just not been thinking about using them. Okay, um, just got a can of chopped tomatoes left. I'm waiting for our tomatoes to start, but I might get a couple of these just to keep us going for a little bit longer. I don't particularly want chopped tomatoes. I picked up the wrong one a little while back. So I want whole tomatoes because I find that the plum tomatoes are always a lot nicer. I think we will get some of Chris's soups there that's just some of my homemade soups i've got to spare one of those because i've got it in a um a green gin um offer so that saved me a couple of pounds on there so i managed to get that not too bad oh i think we're gonna have to nip across to little though and get some of chris's biscuits we are good for peanut butter just gonna sneeze <coughs> excuse me if you saw recently, I got that peanut butter for about 80p just because it was on the um, the whoopsie shelf for some reason. I'm assuming they're just not doing that line or its date is absolutely fine still. Um, oh, only got a couple of boxes of cereal. I think we need cereal. Probably going to get a coffee and a tea just to keep us topped up. Plenty of oats in. That's all good in there. How are we doing over here? We are good for a lot of things. Those are just dog treats. We've got plenty of cornmeal, got gram flour, barley, couscous, lentils are all good. Pasta's good because we've got all that upstairs. Although I do like to have a couple of other types of pasta in, so I'll have a look and see what they've got in there. Let's move that jar. Have a look in this one. Noodles. Yes. Tesco's. These noodles are really, really good and hearty, so I might grab a few more of those. And we're probably going to grab some pet food, but that doesn't count because that's on a separate budget. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make that list, have a look in Tesco's, see what we can find. Nip over to Lidl because there's one across the road from the Tesco's that we like to go to. And see what else we need to do a big top up. Hopefully the vouchers that I've got from Tesco's from doing surveys and having apps on my phone and my laptop will cover some of the costs. Plus I'll be using my Tesco club card um, money as well. And we will see what we get and how much we end up spending. So we are back from Tesco. So we've been to Lidl and Tesco. It's Lidl to pick up Chris's milk because that's the best place to get it from. Tesco's to spend that £47.50. And I decided to spend some of the £60 vouchers that I'd got. I got some love to shop vouchers. So I decided to spend those. And we went to Iceland Warehouse and now I'm shattered. 
but let's have a look at everything we've got so if you look over my shoulder this is our Tesco's and Little Shop and we'll go through everything we've got okay Lidl basically was milk and I got some um, caddy liners for my mother-in-law so they're not included in our shopping but that's what we got we were looking for some of Chris's um, snack bars that he likes but they didn't have any in at all so we decided skip that we'll get something from Tesco so the rest of this shop is our Tesco shop so I did say at the beginning I was going to top up on our mouthwash and our deodorant so I got six of each of those that's brilliant a little bit of extra lemonade as well we've got a couple of coffees because Chris needs to take one to work and we have one, we'll need one for home and um, a little bit more decaf tea I've decided I've been getting a dodgy tummy I know this <laughs> more information than you really need but I've been getting a bit of a gurgly tummy and I think it's because I've been having caffeinated tea it always seems to happen within an hour or two of having caffeinated tea so I'm going to try the decaf too and see if that helps loads of chickpeas I'm going to be doing a couple of different chickpea recipes for sandwiches so I do like a fake chickpea tuna and also I'm going to be making like a coronation chickpea so those are two really good ones to have so the mango chutney which is hiding down there is going to go in the coronation chickpea a uh, little bit of flora because it's always handy to have in a bit more I can't believe to top us all up some tinned plum tomatoes I've mentioned before I prefer plum tomatoes they seem to have a better and thicker tomato content in there a couple of minestrone soups for Chris some cereal to top him up as well so the alternative that we got were these Belvita um, biscuits which actually look quite good because they were £1.25 a pack you get five packs in there and there's four biscuits in a pack and I think that's going to fill him up amazingly a couple of bottles of juice I love this quadruple strength juice it lasts ages uh, one for home one for Chris to take to work some potatoes just because we need to top up our potatoes because our grown homegrown ones are not quite ready yet. Some paracetamol for the dog because he needs them. So yeah, so that is the totality of our Tesco's and Little Shop. But if we swing round the kitchen, here is our Iceland shop. So yes, you may notice there are some pre-made, pre-packed things going on here. Yes, I do do a lot of cooking, but there are times where Chris wants to make something and he just wants to make something nice and simple or he just wants a snack or we just want something quick and easy. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a sausage roll and beans for tea every now and again. It's quite a nice thing to have. So we've got sausage roll and beans. We have got a pizza that looks quite nice. Chris fancied the minced steak and onion because... Again, he's still in that transition period to vegetarian where he still wants some things that remind him of days gone by when he was eating meat. Um, a couple of quiches, which we're going to have for tea. To, um, probably going to have those for lunch today. Um, these look nice. Chicken free bakes, the, um, Greg's ones. Um, a little bit of corn. So, Philip Burgers. I've got to say, I am a sucker for these nuggets. They are really, really nice. And you can even get southern fried ones, which are really tasty. We've got those hash brown fries, a little bit of fresh produce and some lettuce and some peppers. Um, this is really, really nice. Um, Astonished body and soul stuff. It's cruelty free, vegan, really. And it's a pound and it smells gorgeous. Really, really nice. And then we're on to the slightly better stuff. So we've got some broccoli, some cauliflower, some mixed veg, some sweet corn, some peas, some chips, because sometimes you don't want to be messing around chopping up your own potatoes. And I, these just do taste that little bit nicer. I spotted I can't believe it's not butter there. And I thought, you know what, as I'm paying with vouchers, I might as well top it up. And because shopping is stressful, a little bit of a treat for me. So that's everything that we bought from Lidl and Tesco's and from Iceland. We did get a little bit of dog food as well. So that will be on the receipt, but we're going to go through. I'm going to do full disclosure, show you the receipts and show you how much we paid for everything. OK, we're going to go through all the receipts. So here we have my little receipt. So we've got my lactose free milk. Forget about the biodegradable liners paracetamol that comes to five pound fifteen for us 
because obviously the line is a £3.38. So that's that receipt. Next one. Tesco's. Here we go. It was a £50.20. No, it was £57.58. I had £7.50 in club card vouchers. Then I had my £40 in gift cards. So then it came to £10.28 that I had left to pay. Okay. Then if we look at the Iceland one as well, there we go. It came to £53.23 minus £2.50 for discounts. £50.73, £50 in vouchers. So there we go, 73 pence. So I'm just going to show you that here. If you look here, that came to £16 and 16 pence. But on our Tesco's, we need to take away the dog food, which came to £13.25. So if you look here, we have a £9 one for Tesco dog mix selection and where is it four pound fit now where is it now Four twenty-five for tesco senior with chicken that takes away 13 pound 25 so all in all spending out of pocket for that shopping was two pound 91 i'm not going to complain are you two pound 91 for all that shopping now, I've mentioned before, the way I get my vouchers is I have apps on my phone, I have apps on the computer, I do surveys online and different things like that and they give me points and the points turn into vouchers and I save them up and this is what I do. I cash them out and I spend them on my shopping. Yes, you could save them up to do all sorts of other things with, but this is the way I choose to do it. So this has really topped up our shopping for us. This is what helps keep our shopping budget nice and low. Um, obviously, love to shop vouchers can be used in a variety of other places. There's a list of, on the voucher of all sorts of other things, but I'm not gonna rock into H Samuels and start buying myself some jewelry when I can buy food instead. It's In my mind, it's much more important for me to spend these vouchers this money on keeping our pantry and our cupboards and our shelves stocked with food and everything that we need then we can spend the money on other things for example the 600 pound vet bill that we had to pay last month so yes there's other priorities where the cash can go anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below what you think and do you have any other ways that you collect vouchers or anything like that and i will if anybody wants to know about my vouchers just drop me an email on trying to get by 2021 so 2021 at gmail.com and I've done this before. Someone else asked me for um, a list of where I get my vouchers from and all the different places that I use to do surveys. And I sent them a page summary of all the places that I um, get them from. So if anybody else would like those, just drop me an email and I will send those off to you as well. And maybe they can help you to save a few pennies here and there as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.